Oh, hey there. Let's talk about self-love. Today's tip speaks to really the heart of all the things that we do, which is self-love and cultivating self-love to be able to find a more fulfilled life. Um, self-love really begins with acceptance, acceptance of where you are now and like a knowing that you are worthy of love and that you are worthy of well-being. A couple things to touch on here. One, oftentimes self like care practices can be confused with self love. Uh, both are practices. Self love is not an event that you acquire. Um, it's, it's more of a way of being. It's a lifestyle. It's something that you're always working on. It is a practice. And like anything we practice, we build stronger as we practice. There's a lot of self care practices that we might participate in because we have a certain level or an adequate level of self love, but they are different things. You may go to the gym and practice self care and self love is the underlying why that you're practicing that self care. You may go get a massage or an acupuncture session and these might be ways to practice self care. Self love is the reason why you're practicing your self care. Hopefully that uh, makes sense or resonates with you. Um, little personal story. I think I've mentioned in the past a few years ago, I uh, acquired Lyme disease, which really altered the course of my life. And at first, through the challenge of trying to heal, I incorporated numerous self-care practices. I mean, lots and lots and lots of them in hopes that it was the solution to my healing. And they offered a little bit of help, but eventually I recognized that it was my limited beliefs about myself that was really holding me back from my healing journey. And I could do all the self care practices I want and I could see all the doctors and take all the supplements and try all the biohacks or whatever to try to uh, heal from that challenge. But the thing that was really holding me back was how I truly felt about myself. And self love has always been a challenge for me most of my life really unknowingly. But since I've been waking up the last few years, I have at least an awareness through examining my myself and living a more self examined lifestyle, really, that I could recognize the behaviors and the things that I experience and how they link to how I care about myself. So once I started really digging deeper into my inner healing through self love practices, my self care practices seemed to have more meaning. They would help me more. They would help longer. And my baseline of how I felt about myself was starting to be brought up and I could create a more sustainable, meaningful change in my, my current state of well-being. And that was profound for me. And now I feel very passionate and determined to help others that go through different styles of chronic illness. I would consider Lyme disease being kind of in that chronic illness um, category. I think there's so many people out there that are trying to heal from something. They're on some kind of journey and I'm very passionate about, um, you know, how to really how to dance those journeys and what I can do to help others navigate their own healing journey. And I think it all begins with building up the way that you 
feel about yourself. I mean the way you truly feel about yourself. Like in your heart of hearts, like a knowing that words can't really explain clearly, or at least my words aren't eloquent enough to truly explain. But somewhere inside of us, there is something that we can interact with that really digs into like our belief systems about ourselves and how we truly feel about ourselves. And then that will not only dictate how our behaviors and how we spend our time and how we treat others and how we treat our environment, because the better we love ourselves, the more love we will be able to offer to the things around us. You, you can't sell what you don't own. Like it's hard to give what you don't hold for yourself. So as you build your own self-worth, it will change your behaviors and it will change the way you interact with others around you. And it will change the way you interact with yourself. It will change the way you treat yourself and how you practice self-care. So there is a deep knowing that we want to tap into and practice building that that uh, sense of self-worth. Um, I'm going to quote Sarah, I think in one of her self-love meditations, she says, the world is your mirror and as you build your self-love, the world will reflect back at you how you feel about yourself. And that might sound a little woo-woo, but it's real. The, the more you truly build your self-worth, it will like radiate off you and then it will be brought back to you in all aspects of your life. When you're interacting with somebody, your level of self-worth will be felt, there will be a felt sense by the other and it will change the way they interact with you. And again, that's hard to put in words, but as you practice building your self-worth, it will show itself in surprising places. And I challenge you to dive deep down that rabbit hole and, and see how that changes your life. And then hopefully you'll share that with the community um, so that we could all learn from each other of what these practices do for you and how they help you live. Again, I hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned. Have a great day.